Welcome to MLG Dallas. This is Gwyn here on day two, and with me I have Galsy. Galsy, you are you're a character man. You are you're not only like a legendary troll among men, but on top of that, you are known for pulling off cannon rushes that should not work ever, and yet you make them work and you win with them. That's right. How did you like when you started playing StarCraft? Um, how did you decide that this was going to be the strategy that you perfected to the level that you have? Well, actually, I was playing twos with my friend, like, uh -huh. probably, like, uh, I can tell when it was, but, like, plenty of time ago. Okay. I was playing with my friend, and I got counterest in twos. I got really mad. He, he like, countered me from the shadow, and uh -huh. I got so fucking mad, like, I couldn't fucking deal with it, and I died. Mm -hmm. And, like, that... Told from me. The, from the ashes, you were reborn as a cannon rusher. No, actually, no. Like that was just one of the things that told me that oh, you have to cannon rush. But I don't know. I I kept playing standard on like ones and stuff, and uh, uh, that was probably not the thing that uh, told me you have to cannon rush. Probably the thing that like told me I had to cannon rush when uh, it's what like I was trying to like ladder mm -hmm. and. Mm, I was trying to fork it actually and fucking platinum or something and I fucking sucked and then I tried to fucking counter rush and it worked. It worked. So I don't know actually like when it was or something. I just started counter rushing. Every game? Almost every game. At first I just counter rushed against Provodos. I just uh, DT rest against Zerg and Terran. Mm -hmm. Like tried to do some like I can Zerg, like I tried to do some uh, like forces band and deny DT, expo, yeah. like de deny expo, like some stupid like that. And like uh, last year, like one year ago, I started canvassing everyone. All right, and, and it kind of worked. Yeah, you you've gotten you've gotten really good at it, um, and I, I mean that's impressive, right? And it shows, you know, if you spend enough time on one strategy, you just get amazingly good at it and uh, so I mean you faced off against uh, and unfortunately he eliminated you but you faced off against Liquid Red today yeah. at MLG and um, rumor has it that he was so scared of being cannon rush he eight pooled you is that correct yeah he was pretty scared uh, he, he eight pulled me he was pretty pretty scared about being cannon rush so yeah and he did that the first game mm-hmm I actually uh, held pretty well. Okay. Like uh, I didn't lose. You got the cannon in your mineral line to secure. You say no. I actually just uh, like it wasn't in Tomb Valley. I just uh, okay. I have this uh, like wall which I designed. TM Golzi. Okay. TM Golzi. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a uh, okay. Uh, like this wall, I can like uh, defend against like sand pool okay. or six pool. All right. And without uh, having to uh, like uh, kind of a main. Mm -hmm. So I did that against Red, and well, I still fucking lost. That's probably because I'm bad. <laughs> I'm well, fucking sick. Red, Red's <laughs> really, really good, right? So yeah. Well, what happened was like he, okay, he like brought his fucking circlings to my base, and Major. nothing happened. Like okay, he did let mining time. I had to like make this gateway to block his stuff, and I brought my probes to like hold position on the ramp and stuff. Uh, but he didn't like do any good damage. But then I, uh, yeah, on the first I, I, uh, I assumed that he was gonna drone up and uh, make a hatchery and stuff, and uh, like not gonna harass for a while. But then I saw he was uh, streaming circlings, just yeah, circlings after circlings and circlings and both. Yeah, well, I canceled my gateway, which I like used to mm -hmm. block my main and stuff because of that. So he just started in. I had a decent, like, my hole was decent, but I don't know, he just. Too much damage. Yeah, he just <clears throat> screwed me up with his circlings. But. All right. Well, um, you know, those things do happen. Um, I, I There's a funny story. Um, about about these these shirts. So can you can you tell me about the shirts that you uh, give to people at MLG? 
Well, do you have one in your bag? Uh, well, uh, are you giving them all out? The story is that a last, <coughs> last time LG, um, I decided to make some shirts because I had never been to MLG before. Mm -hmm. So uh, there were a lot of people at MLG which I like had kind of written a letter. In one? Yeah, of course one. Like, <laughs> and, Okay, I made five t-shirts which had uh, like kind of rest by G G D Galsy. Mm -hmm. And I made five t-shirts which had uh, I went to MLG and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Uh -huh. After getting cameras, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, <clears throat> like uh, I gave all of the uh, t-shirts out. Yeah, I gave them a lot. Like the first guy, he was really mad. He was like, "Okay, this guy was so fucking mad." <laughs> uh, after I beat him, I just stood up and I was gonna like shake his hand, and he was like, "You can go fuck yourself." And I was like, "Okay." Are you gonna shake my hand? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you can go fuck yourself again. <laughs> he was really mad. But I, I managed to give him a t-shirt in the end, but he like didn't want to uh, like didn't want the t-shirt. Uh he, he wanted the t-shirt, but he oh. didn't want to uh shake like, He didn't want a fucking picture with me. <laughs> well, not everyone wants a picture with the esteemed Galsy. It's true. Not even Itra. <laughs> not even Itra. Yeah, I actually gave it to. Uh, I yeah. tried to give him a T-shirt. Yeah, you wouldn't take the T-shirt. I remember. You remember? Yeah, I was there. I <laughs> oh, remember. you were there, of course. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. So the the last question I've got for you. You're you're holding something in your hand. Yeah. Uh, what is, I ate some of it earlier. What is it? Uh, this actually is a, a shark meat. Uh huh. You don't have to open it. It's okay. I'm actually gonna get a bite. Okay. If it's okay for you. Yeah, no, you want fine. one? I'm good. I had one earlier. No, I'm, I'm okay. But yeah, it's it's shark. It's from Iceland, right? Yeah, it's a Icelandic shark meat. And and what's the name of it in Iceland? Haukarl. Okay. Can you say it a little bit louder for everyone? Haukarl. All right. So if you go to Iceland, guys, try some of the shark. It's pretty good. And um, it's actually pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, I think we're going to wrap this up. This is Gwyn with Quantic signing off end of night two here at MLG Dallas.